Okay, so uh, awesome oscillator. This is an awesome oscillator. An awesome oscillator. Yeah, write down awesome oscillator. Okay, done. Whenever uh, the awesome oscillator's price oscillate or zero uh, across zero, like it goes up, it goes down, yeah. So for example, what's the value here? Awesome oscillator, the price was 0 0.001485, yeah, so positive value. What's the value here? It's a minus point, um, 0 0.003974, right? Mm. So whenever the price change from negative number to positive number, so that's a crossover. Okay. Yeah. So basically, you're gonna be calculating awesome oscillator using TLA, and you will you will remember the previous number if the condition would be if the price changes from negative to positive, or or from positive to negative. Yeah. So whenever there's a crossover. So negative to positive or vice versa. Okay. Um, but the is the price, but the price is never, but when it's going from negative to positive, that means that the direction's changing of the- No, no, I haven't finished. I haven't finished. Sorry. Okay. So that's, that's the one thing you'll be doing. That's the one criteria. You will be, you will be calculating awesome oscillator and looking for whenever the price change from positive to negative or from negative to positive. That's okay. the criteria. The second criteria would be zigzag indicator. So you will have this uh, zigzag indicator. And uh, if you Google TLA Bozix, there, there are quite a few zigzag indicators out there. I think the zigzag indicator uh, I have at the moment, let me show you the values. This one is zigzag. Uh, the values of my zigzag indicator at the moment is extended depth is 12, extended deviation is five, extended back step is three. Okay. Uh, but, uh, okay, so Back to this, maybe I should close this ATR and close it here. Okay. Okay, back to where, okay, it's here changing. That's uh, where it's here changing, yeah. Okay, so whenever that change happened, so now you on this bar, on, on, on this bar, on this bar, you identified there's a change happened. Yeah then you will be doing the zigzag and then look at the previous, the zigzag will give you the pivot point. Yeah. If the price of this bar, you know, you, you will be on this bar, you calculated the awesome oscillator and you identified that the price has changed from negative to positive. And then you will be also calculating the pivot point from the zigzag indicator. So you will look at the previous pivot point. So you, you will keep that remember. Every time you can continue calculate, you will continue calculating the zigzag and continue remembering the previous pivot point. The previous pivot point is this one. Okay. Yeah. And then you will remember the price of the previous pivot point. So now, if the price of previous pivot point is higher than the price of this bar where the direction of awesome oscillator is changed, then it's a buy trade. Yeah. Yeah, I say it again. When the price of your current bar where the 
direction of oscill oscillator has been changed from negative to positive or even positive to negative it doesn't matter hmm. the main thing is the this uh, pivot point if the price of the previous pivot if the current price is higher than the price of the previous pivot point then it's a buy trade as you can see after this point the price really went up yeah okay now if again now look at this example here see you see uh the price or the of the value of the the value of awesome oscillator is positive here point double zero one zero four zero and on next bar on this bar i don't know but maybe it's a zero but on this bar i don't know why there isn't any price or then oh, on this bar is probably very yeah but anyway the signal is changed now it's become, it's become positive so it could be this bar or this bar doesn't matter yeah point the basically now you gone from positive to negative yeah and um do because mine's a classification problem um normally i have to set i i know i set another condition saying that um if uh, also it has to be within the 15 bars if it's a buy signal it has to go up by 15 bars within the within the next 15 bars um you just uh, you can just put the stop loss and take profit i mean um, as before yeah yeah okay. like when you're doing the back testing uh, yeah and when you're doing the classification uh yeah, for the next uh, 10 or 15 bar, whatever your criteria is, you could see that the price went up 10 pips or whatever pips you're looking for. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now this one, this bar, the, the awesome oscillator price is again changed. And now look at the previous pivot point. The price of this bar where the, where the uh, awesome oscillator value is changed. Now... Yeah look at the price of the previous pivot point right this price is lower than the previous one previous pivot point right yeah it will be a sell trade yeah and you see all of these trade is not nothing happening on the awesome oscillator you will not trade you will let it go okay maybe continue another one here uh Again, on on this bar, okay. Uh, the price chain now. Now you see now this is this is a false signal. That's where the like that's where we're gonna be losing the money. Yeah. You know, that's why no rule is a hundred percent. You know. So on this one, it should be a sell trade, but then after a couple of bars, there was another another pivot point happened and then the price shoot up yeah so that's why no rule could be hurt but you 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 find that this rule is when i eyeball um it's it's uh it's working very well on most of most of the time yeah look at here again yeah change price is higher than the previous pivot point the price really shoot up Okay. You think again? Yeah, you, you got up more than 10 pips again here. On this one, yeah, this one is a dodgy one. It didn't make much money. But then, whenever that happens, whenever, when, whenever there's a false signal, actually, suddenly there was another pivot point comes up okay but again yeah that has to be tested yeah okay that's it so that's the okay. yeah